Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. A couple weeks ago, I saw an ad of the new Taurus 22 Tuck. And I said, that looks eerily familiar from a gun I reviewed 13 years ago. Uh, 22 Tuck, but I'm interested, tell me more. And I started checking it out and saying, that is really something. It's a little polymer frame, 22 long rifle, handgun with a tip-up barrel. And people are saying, well, that's just a knockoff of the Breda Bobcat. Well, that's true. It is a knockoff of the Breda Bobcat. However, Taurus is not new to this. Back 13 years ago, I reviewed the Taurus PT-22. Same exact concept. Except in that case, they made it in 22 long rifle and 25 ACP. This is only available in 22 long rifle. Now, what makes it different? It's a tip-up barrel with a 9-round magazine, 10 rounds total. What is the advantage? Well, first of all, it's a lot less expensive than a Breda Bobcat. You know, five, six hundred dollars for the Breda. MSRP on this is $334. You're looking at a little under 300 bucks for it at this current time. But the advantage here is that you don't have to charge the slide. If I if I went to charge the slide using a standard charge i literally cannot do this well i guess i can but it's really hard and if you know me i'm a big burly dude but i can slingshot it that still takes a lot look at those serrations see that you have to grip on that rip the skin off your thumb to charge it or you could just load it that way you take a 22 long rifle Round, you throw it in there, you decide you don't want to shoot it, woo, right across the room, dislodges it. So I'm going to give a quick rundown on this, compare it to the Ruger 22 LCP2 light rack, and we can see this will be the battle of the pocket 22s. The tip-up barrel is nice, I have to admit, that that's pretty nice, you load the first round. If you have injured hands, you have weak hands, you can load it just like that. The weak hands could be a little bit of an issue because it is double action. Now, it's a hammer-fired gun. See the hammer? It's a hammer-fired gun. It is heavy. Taurus says, well, that's similar to a double action revolver, and I would agree with that. It's like a double action revolver. All right, so it is heavy. It would have zero recoil, and when I shot the PT-22, it had zero recoil. It has somewhat usable sights. Now, the rear sight is embedded in the slide, and the front sight is embedded in on the barrel, all right, which that is the barrel. And the frame is all polymer. All throughout here is polymer. This is all steel. Slide is all steel. Large trigger guard. But to disassemble this is a little different. All you do is you... Well, let's see, you take this slide and you pull it up and off like that, and now it's completely disassembled. Pretty easy cleaning. To reassemble, you're just going to, I find it easiest to pull the trigger back a little bit and slide it in just like that, and then put the barrel down. So it's a very simple disassemble process. How does it compare to the Ruger? LCP2 light rack. Well, they're both made for pocket carry. There's no doubt about that. This is a 9 plus 1. This is a 10 plus 1. So, Advantage Ruger. This has an MSRP of uh, 334. This has an MSRP of 340 or 440. 440. So, Advantage Taurus. This has a tip up barrel. This has a standard, but the difference here is that it's a very light rack. So if you have the injured hands, you should not have a problem at all with this handgun, all right? So you, you, ha you have its advantage and disadvantage in each case. In terms of the trigger, you're looking at a much easier trigger pull. Now, the problem here, this has a magazine disconnect, but all that considered, the trigger pull is much lighter. It is also a hammer-fired pistol. So two hammer-fired, 22 long rifle. Hammer-fired is actually pretty good for rimfire rounds. All right, Taurus says that 
the strong, heavy, double action trigger pull is good because it'll give a nice, strong strike on the rimfire 22, and that's good. So I'll, I'll look forward to shooting this and give a better account of that. But the Ruger LCP-2 light rack has the thumb safety. The PT-22 had a thumb safety. They took it off with the Tuck-22. And it's a light rack with a little different disassemble. I have to say, advantage to Taurus for the disassemble. This you have to pull out a pin and so forth. But this is your more traditional handgun. It also has embedded sights on the slide but this is your more traditional this one is a little different both made for pocket we'll get them on the scale then we'll wrap this thing up 440 334 big difference there we'll start with the lcp2 light rack unloaded 11 ounces taurus tuck 22 10 and 3 8 ounces so the tuck 22 is actually a little bit lighter a little bit less expensive heavier trigger pull one less round capacity compared to the Taurus and if we look at or compared to the Ruger on the right look at the difference with the well I should say the barrel length because that's the barrel and then here's the difference you say well that's pretty thick for pocket carry it also fills the hand I have to say, that fills the hand. So is it a new release from Taurus? Well, the name is new. The concept is not. They had the PT-22. I have experience with that. It was pretty cool, actually. I didn't mind it. And now they have the Tuck-22. This one's more expensive. We'll put that away for now. If you go with this, you get this little box with the paperwork and a lock. Very simple. One nine round magazine but that's the taurus tuck 22 it is pretty cool made for pocket carry or a secondary pistol and if it's anything like the pt22 it should fire very nicely if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe